So this is the Flywoot Explorer. This is a bind and fly FPV drone meant for doing some long range FPV flying. And it's got a GPS on it. Thanks to Betaflight 4.4, the developers have improved the GPS rescue feature and this little guy can self land. And I'm super excited to show it to you. I've updated it fully. I've tweaked all the GPS settings and everything so that it does a perfect self landing. Well, let's do it. I'm gonna show it, demonstrate it to you. And then I'm gonna show you how you could put this on your Flywoo Explorer or maybe apply this to any other Betaflight GPS enabled drone that you've got. All right, we currently have 11 satellites. We're ready to take off. And we're gonna fly out. I'm gonna go ahead and trigger that return to home. Okay, so her return to home is triggered. It is turning around. It is flying back toward us. All right, the quad. Can you guys see it? Right overhead. All right, there it is. It's making its way down. I have my finger on the button if I need to disarm it. That is really impressive, guys. I mean, as long as it's within 20 meters, 10 meters, that is fantastic. I'm gonna do another test where instead of just flying in a straight line, I'm gonna give it some movement and we're gonna see if it still comes to home because a straight line should be pretty simple, but I don't think it should make a difference. All right, we're gonna take off. Let's do some flying around. I'm gonna do a flip a roll actually. Do some freestyle with this thing a little bit here. Alright. 17 satellites. I got plenty of satellites on this thing now. I'd never hit 17 satellites before making uh the changes to the GPS settings in beta flight. I've never seen that on this drone. So that's an improvement too. Now I'm gonna hit return to home. Let it turn itself around. Let's do that. Sweet. Ooh, all right, it's fighting the wind a little bit there. Let's see. Oh yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it goes. It's gonna land. Amazing. Again, look how close. This is a really cool result because previously, if you use GPS rescue, and for any reason something went wrong with your transmitter, what would happen is the drone would go into a fail safe and it would pretty much just float back and forth, back and forth with pretty much nothing you could do until you had a way to restore your control link. Now at least if it comes back, it's gonna self land itself. It's gonna do it somewhere. And that result was awesome. All right, I'm gonna go over a little bit on how I got this set up on my Flywoo Explorer version two. This is the DJI digital version with the version 2.0 GPS module. All right, let's look at the configuration tab first. So I have a barometer on mine since mine is the F7 flight controller and you should too if you've got V2. They were all shipping with a barometer. A barometer significantly increases the accuracy of the GPS rescue, especially in the self landing process. We're gonna go down to the GPS settings. Now, if you had the 2.0 GPS, by default, it was set to NMEA. Now, the NMEA GPS that came with my version of the Flywheel Explorer supports U blocks. It's strongly recommended, practically required to switch to U blocks. The faster your GPS communication with the drone, the better. I have heard 
that a 57600 baud rate will work. Now I've chosen 115200 because I just want the fastest communication rate between the drone and the GPS. The faster your GPS works, both to talk to the drone as well as its communication with the satellites, uh, the better this feature will work. If you have to change your GPS parameters, there is a way. You need to download uBlocks uCenter. And from uBlocks uCenter, through serial pass-through on Betaflight, you can get into the GPS configuration console and change op options such as power, uh, communication rates, all of that stuff. You can even change the baud rate. So if you do need to change any of that, or you want to verify what rate your GPS is communicating at, the uBlocks Use Center is a fantastic resource. In the fail safe tab, this is what I really wanted to get to. This is the GPS rescue settings that I've chosen for the Flywoo. Some of them I've migrated over from the original settings and others I've changed. You are welcome to copy them and just use them directly if you have the Flywoo Explorer. As you can see, it seems like they work just fine. So I wanted a very conservative ground speed because the only way it does it is it gets its heading, it stops. It gets its heading, it stops. If Like that's the only way it does it. I think it might be capable of going a lot faster because five meters per second is a pretty slow return to home speed. So uh, I'm gonna be experimenting with that. But for now, five meters per second should be very, very safe. The throttle minimum, uh, 1100, 1600 for throttle maximum, throttle hover, 1200. This should all be fine. And descent rate of one meter a second, uh, that's another very, very safe parameter. Now I have allow arming without a fix and I have minimum satellites set to six. I would recommend eight, honestly, to do this with. You might be able to get away with it with less satellites, but the more, the better. It really needs to be able to figure out what direction it is and the more satellites, the better off you'll be. So this is different. I've decided to keep the sanity checks on completely because sanity checks work differently compared to Betaflight 4.1. There's been a lot of changes to where your quad will not just drop out of the sky like a brick. Betaflight devs have kind of worked out something better. I used to have it on failsafe only. Now it's just on all the time. So that's it. I hope going over the Betaflight settings helped you a little bit with this quad to get it set up the way I do. I'm going to have a link to my complete configuration Betaflight dump down in the description below. If you use it, please make sure you back it up. So far for me, it is working pretty well, but I still have more testing to do myself. And I certainly wouldn't want to take this all the way out right now until it hits that stable version. But this is really cool, and I hope I gave you a peek at what you can do with the Flywheel Explorer. I love mine. I bought it two years ago. I did a review of it here on YouTube, and it's still flying. You can upgrade yours, give it this feature. This is fantastic, and I hope you have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. You guys take care.